chose him for her own And her love made Clifford grow so big That the Howards had to leave their home Clifford's the best friend anyone could know He's the greatest dog ever I really think so Clifford's so loyal He's there when you call I love Clifford, the big red dog So they packed up a family car And the Howards left the city They moved to Birdwell Island and their many new friends There to greet Clifford and Emily Clifford's so much fun, he's a friend to us all I love Clifford, the big red dog I just know that this year, my sweet baby Cleo is gonna win the fluffiest dog competition. Congratulations, Mrs. Diller. Your dog is by far the fluffiest dog on Birdwell Island. Are you ready, T-Bone? Ready! Ta-da! Okay, what am I? Uh, you're, uh, uh a, a giant mouse with a stick in his mouth. No, I'm an elephant. <laughs> oh, yeah. My turn now. What are you gonna be, Clifford? Snake with the belly ache? Nope. Try again. Art, 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 art. Hey, Cleo! Hey, T Bone. <laughs> Help me guess what Animal Clifford is. <gasps> He's that dog. Everyone knows that. Art, art, art. Uh, are you a turtle? Huh? Hello, Cleo. Oh, hi, Mac. Arr, arr, arr. What's wrong with Clifford? I don't know. But do you notice anything new about moi? New? Well, uh, I, uh... You're a walrus! That's what you are! A walrus! Right! Ahem! <laughs> hi, Cleo. You can go next. Hey! Doesn't anybody notice anything different about me? You have a ribbon on your collar. That's not just a ribbon, T. That's a first place ribbon. Yep, I'm the fluffiest dog on Birdwell Island. Wow. Go. Congratulations. I also got a trophy. Mrs. Diller put it in the living room. That's really great, Cleo. Yeah, you deserve it. Welcome to the club, Cleo. <laughs> Thanks, guys. So, you want to do an animal, Cleo? Maybe you could use your ribbon as a nose or, or wings or something. Ooh, yeah! I am not going to use my ribbon to play games. Sorry. Sorry. <sighs> Mongrels. You want to hear about the contest? Sure. Oh, okay. I'd love to hear about it. 
Well, you wouldn't believe the competition. It was brutal. Fluffy dogs were all around me. I had to sit and then stand and then walk and sit again. A lot of the dogs can take the strain, but I never gave up and all the other fluffs were beginning to flop. But my fluff was still fluffing. And then the judge was headed my way, and I had to be my very fluffiest. So I shook all over. Hey, are you guys listening? Yeah, we are. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Don't you want to hear the rest of my story? Sure, it's just that it's getting kind of hot. And your story is getting kind of long. Oh, they're just jealous, Cleo. Are you gonna listen to the rest of it or not? Well, why don't we go swimming for a while and you can finish your story later? Great idea, Clifford. Last one in is a rotten dog biscuit. Ooh. Wait, you guys! Wow! Yippee! Ah! <laughs> oh, oh! Are you okay, Cleo? You got me wet! But, Cleo, you like to get wet. I used to like it before I was an award-winning dog. They just don't understand, Cleo. Don't you guys want to come swimming with us? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Water's not good for the fur. Okay. Come on, Clifford. Last one in is an even more rotten dog biscuit. Let's go! Wahoo! Hey! Watch it! It's not easy being an award-winning dog, Cleo. The other dogs just don't understand. You understand, don't you, Mac? <laughs> oh, yes. I have lots of awards. Do you want to see them? Ooh, that'd be great. You know, no matter how many ribbons I win, it always feels great to win another one. The crowds, the lights, oh, I just love it all. And when I was only two years old, I won my first Best in Show trophy. No, it's true. That was amazing. No dog had ever done that before. And here I was, just minding my own business, and I won. Look at all the pictures and trophies and ribbons. Whoa. Here's me at the big contest they have on the mainland every year. I won three ribbons that day. Here's me when I was only six months old. I won for best form and youngest dog that day. Oh, oh, and here's me two years ago. I won best all-around dog that day. Oh, look here. Here's me once again at age three. Uh, aren't I adorable? And here's me when I won for best paws. Oh, oh what a day that was! <sighs> really? So that's all my pictures. Great! I mean, why don't we go swimming now with the. Now for my trophies. I won this for best smile. That's great. Come back next week. My other trophies will be back from being polished. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's great, Mac. See ya! Whoa. Mac just wouldn't stop bragging. My trophies this and my trophies that. It was so boring. <gasps> Wait a minute. Was I bragging like that to Clifford and T-Bone? My fluff was the fluffiest fluff in the whole entire world. I was wonderful. I was marvelous. I 
was fluffy up the docious. Uh-oh. I think I have some apologizing to do. Do you see what I see, Clifford? Seaweed. Mmm, fishy. Very fishy. That smells good. It sure does. Hi, guys. What you doing? Uh, we're getting dirty, Cleo. You better not get too close or you'll flatten your fluff. Why not? I love seaweed. Cleo? What about your fluff? Fluffy fur is just fluffy fur. I'm sorry I was bragging so much. It's okay, Cleo. Winning a first place ribbon is really special. Hey, where is your ribbon, Cleo? At home where it belongs. I mean, it was great winning it, and I'm proud that I did, but it's so boring when that's all you talk about. Does that mean you want to go swimming with us now? Absolutely. Last one in is a rotten fluff ball. Yippee! <laughs> 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 Woo, yeah! Story, don't you? <laughs> I thought so. He's your favorite. Today's story is Speckle and the Pirate Ship. Speckle, Ravi, Luna, and Darnell were at their favorite picnic spot when Speckle started a game of pretend. He imagined he was a brave buccaneer sailing on the high seas, and Luna's backpack was his bag of gold. Soon everyone joined in. Speckle was the captain, and his friends were his fearless crew. With the sun shining and the waves splashing, it was a grand day to be a buccaneer. Then Ravi saw another ship approaching. Who could it be? It was Reba the Red, with a treasure map to share. They studied the map, then steered their ship to follow the treasure map's course, imagining the wonderful adventures they would find along the way. The end. That was a great story. Isn't reading fun? <laughs> Okay, Emily Elizabeth, let's warm up for the game today. Ah, here we are, Violet. A perfect view of the soccer field. Oh, Horace, look at our little soccer team warming up out there. Well, birds look pretty good this year. Okay, Vaz, your turn. Oops. Try kicking the ball more square next time. You'll be fine. Only Vaz could miss a target as big as Clifford. Sorry. Look, it's our team mascots. You 
Better get dressed, Clifford. The game's about to start. Woof, woof. as our own Birdwell Birds play host to the Sea City Sharks. Okay, kids, let's work together and be a real team today. Cause we are... The Birdwell Birds! <whistles> and the first soccer game of the season begins. <laughs> Emily has the ball, she passes. And the Sharks huh? intercept. Doggone it. Oh, no! They're gonna score! What a save by the Birds goalie. Yeah! yeah. On. What's happening on the field? Oh, now, Horace, don't get so excited. We'll just find some other seats. <sighs> Seems that king size canine is always in my way. As we move through the first half of the game, the score is tied one to one. The Birdwell Birds have the ball and are hoping to score. Oh, these are good seats, dear. Uh, not bad. At least we can see. Oh. Go, Birds, go! Go, Birds, go! Go, Birds, go! Go, Birds, go! Charlie is going in for a goal. Now, Coach, please, let me go in for Vaz. Not yet, Jetta, not yet. <sighs> yeah! Yeah! Uh, uh. Come on, Vaz, get it. For once in your life, get the ball. Oh. I almost had it. The Sharks have the ball and are moving down the field. A great tackle by Charlie. Go, Charlie, go! And that brings us to our halftime break. Baz, this Super Duper Drink Center is your best idea yet. Thanks, Emily. You really are much better at this kind of thing than you are at soccer, Baz. I know, Jetta, but I like to play soccer. It's fun. Isn't it frustrating? What do you mean? <laughs> well, you're probably never gonna be as good as Charlie. Or me. Probably not. I just like being part of the team. If you really cared about the team, you'd stop playing now. Then maybe we could win the game. Yeah, maybe we could. Okay, guys, great first half. Now, let's get back out there and do our best, cause we are... The Birdwell Birds! Coach Howard, I don't really want to play this half. Let Jetta go in instead. Jetta's going in for Charlie. You took Charlie out of the game? Everyone takes a turn on the bench, Faz. Well, I'm really tired, Coach. You better put Charlie back in. Okay, Vaz, if you're really tired. Thanks, Coach. Here we are at the start of the second half with the score tied three to three. Here we 
we go, go again. again. Are good seats, Violet. Uh huh. Lots of elbow room, plenty of leg space. And, and no, no Clifford. Clifford. Ready to go back in, Vaz? Huh? Charlie's been playing the whole game. He's worn out. But but I'm not as good as Charlie is. If you put me in, we might lose the game. You're a very important part of this team, Vaz. Just just go on out there and do your very best. Okay, Coach. Thanks. over. Final score, a four to four tie between the Birdwell Birds and the Sea City Sharks. Let's hear it for these two terrific teams. You played a great game today, and I'm really proud of this team, each and every one of you. Everyone but me. What do you mean, Jetta? I could have won the game today, but I blew it. I missed the goal. Are you kidding? You played great today. I did? Uh-huh. You played your very best. Yeah, I, I did. And I guess you played your very best too, Vaz. Uh, I'm really glad you're on the team. Thanks, Jetta. I'm glad too. We all did our best today, like a real solid team. Cause we are... It's important to try new things. That's how you learn. That's why Clifford's big idea for today is believe in yourself. Hiya, T-Bone. Want to play ball with Clifford and me? Sure. I get better at this game every time we play. Okay, then. Let's play. <clears throat> can I try that again? I know I can do it this time. Okay, here it comes. I did it! <laughs> I hit it! I remember the first time we played, you couldn't hit the ball at all. I knew that if I just kept working at it and doing my best, I'd get better. So let's keep playing. 
Believing in yourself helps you to try your best and to keep on trying. That's why Clifford's big idea for today is believe in yourself. <laughs>